Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, depending from where you are tuning in today, you are welcome. Good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you today? How are you? I trust that you are blessed and highly favored. Yeah, welcome, welcome to another edition of 10 Minutes broadcast daily plugin with mamlaka hallelujah and welcome 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 i see that i've been joined already with by my handsome husband welcome my chat silly <laughs> welcome 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 it's kind of a little bit i need to okay good welcome good morning Good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you are tuning in today into this edition of Daily Plugin with Mamlaka Broadcast Network. And I am your host, Ambassador Veronique Lawson, coming to you live from our local studio here in Savannah, Georgia. I would like to welcome you and say that you are blessed and highly favored. Yes, welcome, welcome. Please, can you state where you are tuning in from? I could see that I've been joined already by some few people. Title the topic, love. What is love? And what is not love? You know, we're talking about love. The people say, okay, the month of February is the month of love. But I don't know whether it's only the month of February, which is the month of love. So let us see what is love. The key scripture today is going to be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which everybody who is a believer knows that that is a, that is a chapter of love. So 1 Corinthians chapter 13, I will just read some few scripture there so that we could dive really into this uh, topic of love, what is love and what is not love. If I speak with the tongue of man and angel and have not love, I have become as a sounding brass. Paul is speaking or a clacking or clacking symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and all mystery and all knowledge, and if I have a faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. If I give all my goods to feed the poor, and if I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profits nothing. Love suffer long and is kind. Love envies not. Love flaunt not itself, and it is not puffed up does not behave itself improperly seek not its own it is not easily provoked things not evil rejoice not in iniquity but rejoice in the truth bears all things believes all things and hopes all things and endure all things i stop there so we could continue the rest uh, you could continue the rest of the scripture so what is love Webster definition says that love is from the Latin word lubere, which means to please and desire. Love is an assurance of affection that give to. Love is a person adoration. Like we adore God. So we, when we adore God, we actually love God. What is love? Love is an intense emotion of affection, of warmth, of, of fullness uh, and regards toward a person or a thing. Love is a deep feeling, a desire with whom one is disposed to make a pair. Like a, a, we have a romance with, for the husband and the wife and uh, that is a uh, kind of a love. We have a sexual passion again with the husband and the wife. This is kind of love, sexual intercourse, like, you know, like marriage. So love is a strong affection for one another as arising out of a kingship in person. That is a family love. So when I like, say you have a brother, you have a sister from the same mother or from not from the same mother, but maybe from the same community and you love, then you have that kin, kinship love with that person. You have that, you have that desire with that person, which has nothing to do with the, with the sexual desire. So that is also kind of love. Love is an unselfish, loyal and benevolent concern for the good 
for another, one another. Such a fatherly concern for his children or a motherly concern for her children or, or a brotherly concern. That is also a kind of love. Love is God. You have to know that love is God and God is love. For God is the essence of love. He is all love. So love is God. Love is everything that he does in everything. In all his creation actually display the love of God. When you look at the creation, when you look at how the birds fly, when you look at the mountain, you look at all this pestering, you see how God created everything out of love. Everything, he poured his love into everything that he created actually. Love is an unconditional, unselfish, and loyal, unending, and ever faithful, benevolent concern with no reason attached unto it for the good on welfare of mankind from the creator that is my own definition of love i define love as a unconditional unselfish lawyer unending and ever faithful benevolent concern with no reason attached to it for the good and the welfare of mankind from the creator god so when you when you when you exemplify that kind of love then we know that okay you are truly in love or you are truly loving so what is not love what is not love love it is not a feeling love it is not attraction love is not having sex with whoever you want love is is not liking someone Love is not, I love you if you do this. I love you if you do that. Love is not, I love you when you do this one or I love you when you do that one for me. Love is not every time that you do this or every time you put that color, I love it. That is not love. Love is not, I love you because any time that you put a condition before love is no more love. The, all the conditional things that people of this world say, you know, I love you when you do this. I love you. No, that is not love. That I don't know how they could call that one, but we believer, we don't call it love. So what if those people or if that person do not meet the condition? What are you, are you going to still love the person or you just going to say, okay, it, it, it is finished. That is the type of love that we see in our society today. Many divorce and many things going wrong because the people didn't meet the condition. But it is not of us, we believer, or especially we kingdom citizen and especially kingdom diplomat who are walking after the loving kindness and after the lifestyle of Jesus Christ. We shouldn't be imitated, imitating uh, the people of the world as they live because they are not truly portraying the kind of love that proceeds out from the Father. Their love upon condition they love upon if you do this if you do that so that is not truly love that is not a genuine love if if you may say so so love is a moral character love is jesus christ see the bible tells us in the book of romans chapter 5 that while we were still in enmity with god christ died for us we were not even friends with him we were, we were his enemy, yet he died for us. He so loved us that he died for us. So love is a moral character. Love according to 1 John 4, 7. You could actually go there. I will not because of the sake of time. Don't read it. So it is, it's, I prefer much somebody with a kindness, with a respect, with humility and passion rather than relating to, to me solely or, or similarity or mutual benefit or attraction i'm saying i prefer much somebody treating me with kindness with respect with humility and with patience rather than relating to me solely on our similarity or our mutual benefit or our attraction this means that the times we come when we don't feel like showing respect the time we come when we don't feel like showing that patience. The time we come when we don't feel like, like just being trust or honesty. So are you going to still love? 
Yes, of course, because once you know that love is a moral character, your moral character will oblige you actually to do that part of love. That means to put an action because love is an action word. So because you have that moral character and you come to understand that love is a moral character that will cause you actually despise or in spite of the situation or in spite of your behavior, in spite of what is going around you or in you or out of you, you have to just do that what love is required of you to do because love is an action. So love is what you do according to the standard of God and not how you feel. See, God does not wait for us to feel good to love us. God does not wait for us to love him and to come to him and to call him father or to call him savior to love us. God has a moral character of love because he's the essence of love. And because he's the essence of love himself, he is love. So he loved himself so much that he could actually pour all his love to us. So that is a moral character. As I study even the fruit of uh, the spirit, as is recorded in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 20 verse 23. As, as much as I study that, that fruit of scripture, that, that portion of the scripture, we, we actually see the nine fruit or the nine fruit of the Holy Spirit there. But beloved, I just wanted to tell you that even though it's recorded nine fruit of Holy Spirit there, there is a one single characteristic that calls all the other eight fruit to come into being, which is love. So love actually is like the, the mother of all the eight fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because if you don't have love, you will never develop patience. You will never develop joy. You will not have self-control. You will not have meekness. You will not have uh, uh, um, 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 uh, faith. You will not have hope. All that generate or proceed out of love. All the nine carrot, all the nine fruit of the Holy Spirit. So when, when we look at love, love has everything to do with the manifestation of God's presence and his power in your, in your life. So when you have the manifestation of God's presence and God's power in your life, then people could testify that truly you are working on, you are working in love. Why? Because God is love. And then you could not just be with God without loving. You could not just be in that presence of God without having that love invested in you or as, uh, and exemplify that type of love. So that is why I say once you are in the presence of God and once you, you, you carry the presence and you carry the power of God, people actually will see that you are truly loving a loving person because the two could not go together. So the presence of God goes where love is. So if you don't see the presence of God somewhere, question do that person really have love every time you see the presence of god somewhere you will see exactly the love of god that is flowing there some people think that love is only a basic a basic thing something that the beginner needs you know some 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 mature believers say okay you know those things of love is just for the for the baby believer who are just coming to christ so that they, they need to they need to learn about love no 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 they consider some of the gift like uh, the speaking of tongue like the, the gift of prophecy or like the working of miracle they consider it bigger than the love actually if you don't have love, all those gifts have nothing. Just as we saw, what as Paul says in the in the in the book of First Corinthians chapter thirteen, he said that I may have all those things, but if I don't have love, then they benefit me nothing, absolutely nothing. So, like speaking in tongue or the interpretation of tongue or all those healing and miracle, if the people are not walking in love, as much as relevant to them, as much as they are mature believer. That is absolutely nothing before the Father, our Heavenly Father, who actually gave us his love. And he wants us to exemplify ourselves in that love. He wants us to walk in love. He, he wants us to demonstrate his love on the earth. How do we know that we are the children of the Most High if we do not demonstrate the love of God? How do the people who say that, okay, these are the children of God, if, if we are not walking in love, if, if, if we are not exemplifying the love that God shared in our heart, because God said that I share my love in your heart. So if you actually know that the, the, the love of God is in your heart, you have to cultivate that love. You have to cause that love to be demonstrated. And once that you do so, then the people will be attractive to you because people are usually drawn to 
to people because of how they treat other people. And the way you treat somebody will actually say if you are actually working perfectly in law or not. So I have a quote here by a, 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 a gentleman. It is Donna G. G. In, in his book of the fruit of the spirit. He said something. He said, fruit is the result of fire. Loss of communication. In the explanation of most of our failure in spiritual fruit bearing and not amount of Christian work or even exercise uh, of spiritual gift can ever be substitute for working with God. It is encouraging to remember that everything is sustained thereof by love. Wow. So if you don't have love, how are you going to be able to work in what God has called you to do on the earthly realm? So, beloved, I, I, I stopped by today just to encourage you that love, the origin of love, is God. Because God is love. He is the essence of love. What is love and what is not love? So, uh, is your love built on that moral character? Or is your love built on the feeling or, or things that you want the people to do or you are doing? Please take a time, ponder upon the love that you have and see if you could rectify something or maybe grow more in that love of God, grow more in the love of Christ. So I just wanted to encourage you with that today, that uh, love is of God. And then anyone who is of God actually can love. So you can love. If you didn't love, you can love because you have Christ in you. And then his, his spirit dwells in you and so that his spirit dwells in you and you could do more. I just wanted to tell you how we love you. And then before I let you go, please be again that media evangelist share and share and share this broadcast today. And it has been my privilege to stop by and to share this light upon love for you and to you and for myself too. So until I see you again next time, uh, let us be, let us meet at the, in the air. Let us be up there where the eagle are. Okay. So have a blessed day. Continually to be in love, continually to love on your father, your heavenly father, and continually to love on your sister and brother and your husband and your wife. Okay. Blessing. Bye-bye.